Good morning, Taurus. <clears throat> I hope everybody is well. It is about 5.45 a.m. my time. Uh, this is Saturday, February 2nd. Welcome to Tarot to Tarot. I've not had my coffee yet. That's what you hear perking in the background. I've got to go to work today, so I'm not a happy, happy camper, but okay, we're going to do this. I just wanted to do something for Taurus before uh, we got too far into the weekend. So, Taurus, this is your monthly. Um, turn this around this way. Um, so, I'm just kind of rotating things around. Monthly, um, how's your money? How's your honey? Dig deeper love reading. And, of course, Taurus and all the zodiac signs. Uh, and K-I-S-S-I-N-G. So this is just going to be a regular general monthly course. Um, there's no way I could do it for everybody else and not do it for you too. Because <laughs> that means I wouldn't be doing it for myself. Alright, let me kick this out. Let me do one more shuffle tours. Bear with me. <laughs> My eyes are not focused yet. All right, cut the cards, and this is just going to be a general read for Taurus for February 2019. I'm going to pull four. We're going to do one for overall energy and three for guidance. So let's see what we got for these upcoming four weeks. First card is a four of swords. Second card is a fool card. Third card is ten of coins. And fourth card is the Justice card. And from the bottom of the deck, overall energy is the star. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a star card. Let me find out. All right. This is a... I'm inclined to say this is a kind of good reading, Taurus. And this is just a, a real general overview so we can at least get our, our little hooves wet um, for the beginning of February. So it looks like, and I feel like this right now, um... A lot of us are just kind of taking a break because we just had too much on our mind, too much to process between personal relationships and work and some other shit. So I feel like this right now. I know I had a very busy weekend planned, but um, in between there, this is exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going to be posted up with a cigarette and a drink somewhere watching TV every chance I get. And every other chance, I'm going to be snoring. So this is not a bad thing. This is... And excuse my little loud coffee maker. Um, this is not a bad thing, considering uh, I just read that February is going to be, I think, the only month this year where we don't have any planetary activity. No retrogrades, no clashes, no, no crazy trines, none of that. So, um, if you feel... I'm just going to give my coffee minute, coffee maker a minute to, to just say whatever it is it needs to say. <laughs> Making my coffee. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway, that's coming into the month tours. I, I knew this was going to be comedy anyway because I'm not up yet. But this is what, we, this is what we're working with coming into the month. Uh, not a bad idea to take. I've been busy. I don't know about the rest of y'all. Not even with romantic stuff. Just other crap. Since Christmas time, we've just been running around in circles. So this is not bad energy or a bad thing to do or a bad card to have right about now. Because last month, but we had two eclipses. Everything was just all uh, hell has crazy. So this is good. The fool card, while we're in this reflective mode, we need to think about things that we're not taking risks where we're not staying open. Um, something's coming up for us here, second, third week of February, where we are going to have to stretch outside of our little bovinio minds because it's something that's not, it's not comfortable to us. So there's something that's, gonna, that's asking us to take a risk, take a leap of faith, and just know that um, we will surely come to the right outcome. As we get into the third week, it's about our time and our energy paying off. And in this deck, this is what the Ten of Coins means, about all the work, all the effort paying off, and there being uh, that pot of proverbial pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. 
So people that have been working overtime, working two jobs, whatever, some of this is going to start paying off for you. Um, people, even this is, I'm feeling for sure that even people that are filing your income taxes, right here, all the last works, hard work paying off and um, be mindful this year that tax codes have changed, Taurus. So those are my bull friends that are really on top of their money game. Y'all know this already, but I'm beginning to hear from people because I see and talk to a lot of different people every day. They're getting much smaller refunds. So hopefully this payoff, uh, especially if it's tax related, hopefully you find a nugget somewhere that'll just add a, a few dollars on to whatever refund that you're getting. The, the last card that we have, and it is one of the three major arcana we have on the board right now, the overall energy being the star and the fool cards, the justice card. And in this instance, it is definitely about uh, karmic action. So any karma that um, we have coming, um, all of this is about stuff coming to fruition for us with the overall energy being the star card we have we, we have a sense of hope and optimism again and if you couldn't hear me over my little loud coffee maker um february i think is going to be the only month this year where we'll have any stupid ass planetary activity no retrogrades no big stupid planets arguing with each other none of that so um, with that said, because March brings with it a retrograde in Mercury, if in those of you who are in the know, you know what I'm talking about. Make sure that you get all the rest that you need. You take all the opportunities that you need. You make sure that everything that's supposed to be paying off for you is paying off towards, and you make sure that you understand any karmic consequences or situations that you happen to be in so you can find the balance in that and leverage that out. Overall, energy being a star card is a good thing. Um, this little window of opportunity that we have in February where there not being a whole lot of planetary crap affecting you, um, I'm just going to suggest to everybody, even those that are listening for another sign, um, get as much done as you can in February. It's a short month. But again, it's the only month I think this year. Last month we had two eclipses and some people are still rocking and rolling from that crap. This is the only month where we don't have any stupid planetary activity. So the planets are actually behaving and doing actually what they're supposed to do, which is kind of orbit around each other and play nice. Um, let me see what the universe has for guidance. Let me check these up one more time. And Taurus, I will be back here for us with some other stuff. Uh, I will be back here this evening for sure because I got plenty of stuff to talk about with every other sign. So definitely with that. Let's do our guidance from the universe Taurus. Six of Cups. Oh, the Wheel of Fortune. And the Eight of Coin. So universe is asking us to be mindful of um, anything that's not serving us to let it go. Um, and if this were, if I read reversals, it probably would have been reversed. Anything that's not serving us. So while you're here this week, contemplating all the good shit, the bad shit, think about anything that's not serving you right now. Anyone, any situation that's not serving you, jump out of there with that. Um, the second card for guidance from the universe. Some of this is destiny in play. The universe wants you to know that. So um, while it's a clear month, like I'm saying about planetary energy, be mindful of the choices that you're making. Um, because, it, and there's a lot of balance in that card, but then again, you got the devil turning it. So what the hell? But <coughs> Wheel of Fortune, it's definitely... Uh, and this is not a bad card. This this can indicate in this reading even about good fortune coming. Um, so just be mindful of that, that some of the choices that we're making right now, they're going to put us either further on our path or on a different path because it's time for that to happen. And I'm going to say if it happens this month, if you have any kind of uh, big changes coming around, 
because this is a major arcana arcana card if you have any big changes coming around they may put you on a different path completely than what you're expecting and kind of expect that this year Taurus. it's going to be a lot of unexpected things going to be a lot of things that you just aren't going to have any control over in the meantime that tells me from the universe to you keep working on it keep working on whatever it is that you're working on whatever little plots of plans you're coming up here while you're taking your little five or six or seven day reprieve resting keep working at it that's the only way with your overall energy you're going to make all your hopes and wishes come true Taurus, I'm going to leave this here. I love you guys. You know I do. And I will talk to you guys soon. Have a good one. Bye, y'all.